Okay, so today we will be learning about two things. The first thing is partitions. Of course, we have talked about partitions in the two more videos. You can check the link in the description, but you don't really have to watch those to watch this video. But you should watch those. Those are different type of interesting problems. The second thing we will learn is about recursions. So it's a very powerful tool in combinatorics. Both of these are discussed in the Math Olympiad and the ISI entrance program at Chinta. You should definitely look into the link in the description for Chinta.com. Uh, it's a very interesting space for mathematicians, for learning mathematics and so on and so forth. Okay, so what is this problem all about? It is Sn plus 1 k is equal to Sn k minus 1 plus k times Sn k. What are these symbols even mean? So we will look at this one, the first one. It's very simple. What is the meaning of Sn plus 1 k? It's quite simple. You have n objects. Let's call them n plus 1 objects. Let's call them n plus 1 numbers, different numbers. And then we have k bags, k bags, they are not different, the bags are not different. So you cannot differentiate uh, from one bag to another. And you want to put those n plus 1 objects into these k bags. How many ways can you do it? You want to split this n plus 1 objects into different subsets, such that the union is all these n plus 1 numbers and no two subsets are overlapping each other. That's the official definition of partition. So the number of ways of doing that is Sn plus 1k. That's the symbol for that particular number. How many ways can you uh, split this n plus 1 objects into this k bags? Answer is, okay, I cannot find the answer. I can find a symbol for it for the moment, a placeholder. And that symbol is Sn plus 1k. That's something that mathematicians do all the time. If they cannot find something, they put a symbol for it and then try to find the value of that symbol. Okay, so it's very hard to find out an actual formula for Sn plus 1k. But there is a recursive way of thinking about it. So what is the meaning of recursion? Recursion means you talk about the n plus 1th step using the previous knowledge that you already have. Maybe the nth case, the n n minus 1th case and so on. It's not ideal because then you have to go to the nth case and n minus 1th case and then use that to find the n plus 1th case. Maybe that is a little bit hard than a direct formula, but it's still something. So we often use recursions in combinatorics and other parts of mathematics. Recursions also show interesting connections between the next case with the previous cases. So it is also of that interest. Okay, So I'll show you why this recursive formula works. There are n plus 1 objects and you are splitting them into k bags. How is that related to splitting n objects into k minus 1 bags and n objects with k bags? splitting them into k bags and what is this k doing here okay it's very very simple yet elegant this part of mathematics and what is it so you have n plus 1 objects n plus 1 objects let's call them 1 2 3 4 up to n plus 1 okay so we have these n plus 1 objects and we want them to want to put them into k bags we want to put them into k bags that's what sn plus 1k is that's what it's all about so how do we do it now let's focus on this n plus 1th object when i distribute this n plus 1 objects into these k bags this n plus 1th object the object number n plus 1 
this could be either alone in a bag or it could be together with some other objects as well. These are the two different cases. They cannot happen together and these are all the things that can happen. Either it is alone or it is together. Nothing or with other objects. It, nothing can be, nothing else can happen. So these two cases in the recursion, these two cases, they will correspond to these subjective description that I just gave you. One of them will be the alone case. Another of them will be the together case. One of them will be the alone case and the other of them will be the together case. This is often the case with recursive problems, recursion problems. If you see a bunch of things plus 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 something like that, one expression is equal to something plus something plus something plus something. Now you have to think of it like this, that one expression on the left, that's the total number of cases. And each of these blocks should be the sub cases, which together make up the total number of cases. We discussed this in detail in our combinatorics uh, module, but that's the main idea of approaching these problems. So one of them should be the alone case and another of them should be the together case. Okay. So which one is the alone case and which one is the together case? Okay. Let's look at this. This n plus one object, if it's alone, then it's in one of the, one of these bags. It doesn't matter which one because all the bags are the same. Bags are not distinct until we put things in them. So suppose I put that into one bag, I leave that bag and that n plus one object alone. All I need to do is to distribute this n objects into the remaining k minus one bags. Distribute the remaining k n objects in the remaining k minus one bags. And I know exactly how to do it, how many ways to do it. That's precisely what s n k minus one is. Distribute n objects into this k minus one bags. So you are done with the alone case. This is the alone case. Now then this must be the together case. This must be the together case. Okay, of course it is. Let's forget about the n plus one -th object for the moment. Let's focus on the remaining n objects. So we want to put this remaining n objects into the k bags into the k bags and then we will throw that remaining n plus one object into one of those k bags. So the number of ways of putting n objects in k bags is precisely s n k. Now you throw that one extra object into one of those k bags. So you have k such cases, right? Because you put it in, because now the bags are distinct. This is a very remarkable thing that happens. The bags were not distinct at the start, but when you start, when you put, when you have put objects in those bags, now the bags are distinct because it depends on which bag, which object is there. By virtue of the objects being in the bags, the bags are now distinct. So you put the n plus one -th object in one of those k bags, which are now distinct in some sense. So you have k cases, so you multiply by k. Okay, so that completes the recursion. It's a very beautiful problem. Think a little bit about it. I will post this particular uh, note that I have written down as a PDF in the link in the description. So you can click that and obtain that note as well. Uh, keep on doing great mathematics. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.